Hey, it's Glenn the Ball Chef, and you know, I'm getting ready to, to wash up some vegetables that I just purchased today. And you know, I couldn't get anything organic today. I've got some Swiss chard here, and some watercress, cucumber, and some tomatoes. And you know, sometimes I start thinking about you know, what chemicals were used or what pesticides were used on this stuff. And, and you know, putting all this stuff in there, we know this stuff's carcinogenic. And these, a lot of these may have been grown in foreign countries that don't have the EPA looking over their shoulder telling them what chemicals they can and can't use. So the question is, is how, how, do, how, do you, how do you clean the pesticides off the, the, these vegetables and fruits? And um, a friend turned me onto this uh, special water machine and uh, I can, get, I can take and I'm going to do an experiment here just using filtered water and try cleaning these vegetables off and see what is left as far as what actually I can wash off using regular water and then I'm going to use straight water 11.5 pH and I think that that strong pH water is going to be able to take some of these pesticides and chemicals off there we're going to take a look at the two water samples after we wash these and we're going to start out with the fresh water Okay, so what we'll do here is this is just regular clean water. And we'll just take and, and wash this Swiss chard down here and try to get this as clean as I normally would before I was going to try to prepare this for something. And uh, just try to squeeze every bit of the, the dirt and whatever out of here wash these tomatoes down and uh, try to, we've got a cucumber here it's got wax on this water just doesn't seem to take down much of the uh, of anything out of here Maybe we we'll get some dirt out of here, I'm not sure. But I've washed the stuff off here fairly well. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to drain these off here and set these aside here for a second. Take a look at what this water is going to look like. I'm just pour some of this into this bowl here. vegetables. There's not really much anything, anything in there. So what we're going to do, so we can learn from our lesson here on this one I guess, we will uh, be a little bit more careful. But now I'm going to do the same demonstration using the strong alkaline water, 11.5, and rewash these vegetables, these same batch of vegetables, with the 11.5. And what we'll do here is we will uh, go with the 11.5 uh, water coming out here now and uh, we're going to do the same same routine here uh, just basically spend about the same amount of time and just kind of pressing this out and trying to clean this the best that I possibly can taking some of this watercress and uh, just kind of cleaning this, getting any residue off of this. Okay, I'm taking this down. I'm going to set this about the same amount of cleaning that I did on the uh, the first experiment. Now let me take this thing here and I'm going to be a little bit more careful here this time. Set this aside here. Maybe I can uh, I can pour this uh, this water in here without spilling it this time. I've got no 
idea what all that's in there, but you can see clearly that this strong alkaline water, 11.5, is taken and remove something off of these vegetables. I don't know if it's pesticide, dirt, or whatever. It looks like there's some kind of oily surface floating on the top of this. I don't know if you laid a hundred dollars down, I wouldn't drink this and I wouldn't put this in my body. Sometimes you got to think about what you're eating. Try to buy organic or try to buy stuff that's locally grown and uh, for me, I'm pretty well hooked on this machine and I think this is the best way to try to clean vegetables.